I recently purchased the 5-in-1 salad maker from Kmart Australia, so we're going to test it out together. If you are new to my channel, I thought I'd introduce myself. My name is Ashley, I'm from Canberra, and I make all kinds of Kmart-related content here on this channel, so I'd love it if you subscribe today. I've had one of these salad maker slices, graters before, and one of the things that I hated about the old one I had was that it had no storage compartment whatsoever. It was the first thing I was drawn to when I saw this on the Kmart website. The second being was that it had some great reviews. It comes with the five different attachments the yellow one being the smaller slicer I am quite impressed by how thick the plastic is on these attachments they feel very sturdy the red attachment is the largest grater and I'm interested to know if it can julienne carrots the blue attachment is meant to be for harsh grating that be dry bread nut the green attachment is for the largest slicing and the orange attachment is the smallest grater option the other few items in the box was this attachment this is the actual slicing attachment the mechanism that goes from the unit to your particular attachment you choose. This is the piece that whatever you're choosing to cut, you can push down with. Something I did think was really smart is they have this guide printed on the side. But when I was going through the instruction manual, I did find another guide inside that as well. You'll have to stay tuned to find out which one, but one of the items that I tested on this chart doesn't actually work to the what they say it does. One of the features on this unit, I didn't know it had until I purchased it, which I think is ingenious. Every unit should have this every kind of appliance but I can actually store the cord inside of it just by feeding it through this way you get to choose how long or short your cord is depending on where it is in your kitchen and it's a really long cord for the record you will see me trying to attach it the wrong way here and I will show you this is the correct way you're supposed to attach it so you are supposed to have the attachment poking out to the right and then you lift up where it'll click into place. Something I learned a little later on was you need to actually have the slicer or grater attachment already inserted before you attach it to the unit. I love this little container, not only for storing the pieces away, which is just genius, but I love that you could possibly use the lid as just a small bowl for whatever you are grading as well. I'm making sure I give everything a thorough wash as you should before bringing anything into your home for use, but all of these attachments are actually dishwasher safe. The first item I'm gonna test out is actually because I want to make a zucchini slice so I want to slice the zucchini as small as possible this is the yellow attachment my first impression of using this thing with a vegetable using the recommended slicer was that it was incredible it works perfectly just as described in fact I think it works better than any other one I've had before because I could get it down to the very nub. All of the pieces looked a little rough around the edges, but they were all uniform in size. This is me learning that you cannot remove the slicer attachment while it is still actually attached to the unit. You do have to remove it as I'm doing so I here. I do feel like the grater and slicer attachments could be easier to remove, and this is probably the mechanism that's gonna give out first, just from use. But after all was sliced up, this was literally all that was left, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Moving on to the orange attachment, which is actually the smallest grating option. It did say in the manual that this was an option, that I could in fact use potatoes on the orange and the red attachment as well as the two slicing attachments. No surprise here, but that particular grater didn't actually work for grating the potatoes. Like it worked, but it was a very fine amount. And something you should know about this unit is it can actually only run for one minute at a time. Then you need to let it cool down for an entire five minutes, which is a lot but we're gonna try out the red grater attachment, which apparently can work for potatoes. To say that it didn't work wouldn't be fair, but to say that it was easy to use this attachment for potatoes is not true. It took a lot of effort. The potatoes carry a lot of water retention in them, so it was a lot of potato juice everywhere. It did get the job done at the end of the day, but I will say that trying to get this red attachment off with all the potato juice, the starch, made it so sticky. It took me forever to get it out. This is the final result with each of the graters. So this is the red grater, the larger option. And I wanted a lot more potato than this, but I kind of just gave up because it was so much effort. This basic mush I'm holding up here is the orange attachment, which is the smaller grating option. Moving on, I want to see if the largest red attachment, which is the largest red grater, unfortunately it doesn't. Carrots. But for what it says that it can do, which is great carrot, it does an amazing job. And I use grated carrot in a lot of family recipes of ours. As you can see yourself, it's doing an incredible job. It also got right to the tip, to the top. I wanted to show you that this attachment that pushes everything down is somewhat serrated, so it does make it super easy to grip onto whatever you're pushing down. Something I did read in the manual, it did say that things that contain natural dyes, such as carrots, radishes, that sort of thing, are going to stain 
the clear attachment and boy did it stain mind you how, for how bad it is here after a couple of washes it was completely gone moving on to the onions now in the manual it said that only the yellow and green cone which are the slicing options would work for this one i quartered the onion and i decided to try out the larger slicing option first which is just perfect honestly it worked amazing if you want chunky red onion that's your bad boy. however if you're like me and you prefer very thin spanish onion then the yellow attachment is for you which again just worked perfectly the blue attachment is specifically reserved for hard things like dry bread hard cheeses nuts but i decided to give it a go with the onion didn't work no surprise there decided to give the red one a go and once again did not work that's the best that the job could do and it got so stuck in there but before I love you and leave you, I thought I would give nuts specifically a go in the blue attachment. It says that it's good for this kind of thing. My overall thoughts on the unit is it loses a few points on the potatoes and the onions for me because I really wish that it could grate those properly. I don't appreciate the five minute cool down time for a one minute run time. Overall, I am gonna give this unit a four out of five. I love the storage unit. It's easy to clean. In fact, you can just chuck it in the dishwasher. As far as this unit grating nuts, it did a great job, but it didn't finish all of the almonds there is this much that it couldn't run through and there's a lot of grated almonds stuck up in there but don't forget to subscribe and know that i love you bye